morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm really glad that you've chosen to uh, join us here on this channel. I hope that you'll find some inspiration. And a big hello to everybody who's been with me for a while. Thank you guys so much for your support and um, your kind words. It, it means a lot to me. You know, when I wake up and I see that somebody's enjoyed a video that I've done and left a comment, I really do appreciate it. I don't always get the chance to respond to everyone, but I do try to. Okay, so let's jump in today. This is my latest journal, and I am so, so happy to be back working with fabric. It's been far too long um, since I have done a fabric cover journal, and I've really enjoyed the process. So, this one I have named Kindness. And uh, it's got a closure, a um, sorry silk closure that just comes off. I haven't um, attached it to the journal because I thought as it's filled, it will allow room to expand. Love the colors on this. This is some uh, vintage cloth, bark cloth that I just purchased um, recently and I love the colors of it because you know I like teals and greens and there's no lavender but that's okay <laughs> but isn't that beautiful well I guess you could say that is a bit of a it's it's more of a blue but isn't that beautiful love this I had a nice big piece of this so um I'm really excited about this I've done some lace collaging up here and these are all mother pearl buttons and then um, it says, Kindness, Nobler Than Revenge. And I, that's why I've chosen the name Kindness for this. And I've done some stitching around it. Um, it will unravel, but it, it won't go beyond the, the stitch. So that's... Um, that, I love the look of that. When it, um, <clears throat> when it starts to unravel, it just looks really, really pretty. Okay, going inside here, I've created a nice big pocket here. Um, the inside has been lined with some Tim Holtz paper that I found uh, that I still had left over. I didn't realize I still had some. <laughs> and then I've just, this is just a real mix, guys, of, gosh, papers from so many different collections. Lots of digital um, papers from various artists. And I've tried to include quite a lot of vintage postcards, receipts. Um, I think there's a milk cap in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. On the first page here, I've created a nice big pocket, and that's been backed with some baking paper. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz, um, so that's not a true vintage, but I tucked that in there. This is a vintage um, receipt from France. Uh, looks like 1927. I don't speak French, so I couldn't tell you what it was for. <laughs> if you're interested, you can look that up. So that's tucked in there, so that'll be protected. A lot of writing space in this. Um, I didn't want to overfill it, but you can see it still ended up pretty chunky. This is some of the straw paper. I've done some stamping on that here. I did a beautiful little collage with old lace and some old fabric that was gifted to me. Love these pages. And then here I've just got various things from my stash. This is a really sturdy um, tag that I made. So it's just a real mix. This is an old, old um, little photo, souvenir photo. Some stamping. I've done some snippet tabs with buttons on them. And then this is a um, purchase I recently made. Now she does not have a shop, but I believe it's Henna Habib, Habib, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but she doesn't have an Etsy shop, but oh my goodness. She's here in the UK. <clears throat> and I had commented on these a while back. And she came back to me and said, I've got some if, if you're still interested. So I purchased these from her, and I'm telling you, she does beautiful, 
beautiful coffee dye papers. Look at the work. And it's just amazing. Hannah, I absolutely love these papers. So here's some handmade paper I've put in. This is a, I call it Yvonne Pocket. Um, I don't know if she designed it, but she's the one I found it from. So I like that. I did some stenciling on there. And then there's a little tag. And then there's a pocket behind as well. So you, there's more things could be added to. This is a Edith Holden book page. Some more handmade paper. 1906 uh, ledger paper. And then this is a um, music sheet that I've decoupaged and I made a pocket. And that's all been sewn in. And you can see on the back. And then I had used some of the... Um, Stains by Patty Pockets. That's Patricia Viramonti's uh, product. So I've done that and that gives it a really nice aged uh, look. And then I included that little uh, digital postcard. Um, this is uh, doily that I did some, <clears throat> excuse me, glimmer mist on. Old French book page. And then on here, I've created a little pocket. This was a wage envelope and I've added one of the Tim Holtz and as I said these are all genuine uh, vintage so that's a I guess a, a milk cap vintage uh, tea card and vintage tickets love those tickets center of the signature isn't that a beautiful um page. I love the colors in that. Tea dyed, more st uh, stamping, and again this is the other side of the little pocket here. And I've just included this little vintage style envelope. It could be glued, glued closed, but I left it so that um, you'd have the option whether you wanted to use it as writing space or um, as a little envelope. This is one of the double coin <clears throat> pockets. I've just left this floating within the journal and there's nothing inside but you can see you've got it's gusseted so you've got two pockets there. And that's been just clipped on to another Edith Holden book page there. Another uh, snippet tab with an old button. And then here I've done another 1923, hmm, I guess that's a receipt, or is it a check? Looks like a, a deposit check maybe. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Beautiful though, aren't they? This is all French. And then here, I've got a little tag within a tag that I've tucked in there. And then on this one, this is a decoupage envelope and I've just included that little journaling card. And that's avocado dyed paper there. And then this is, um, remember I did the masterboard, the shabby chic masterboard a while back? And I created these tags out of it. So this is on like a water color paper, so it's very, very sturdy. And then this is just a little shaker tea bag that I made and I attached old laces and a little label there. Another uh, snippet tab, some more of the straw paper, and then this is some trim I ran across lately. I love the gold. I'm a, I've got quite a lot of this, so I'm hoping I get the chance to do some autumn journals and include that. Um, 
that's like new ledger paper. And then the back here, I've made a belly band. I've made this big journal card. I've got my stamp on it. And that's tucked in. And then another one of those uh, souvenir photos. Snippets here with old laces and another old button. And then a pocket here. And then this is a little trifold that I've made. And this has got another little bit of writing space inside of there with my leftover scraps. And there's room here. You could add some things as well as on that side. But the journal is pretty chunky already, so I haven't wanted to overfill because, as I said, it's pretty pretty chunky now. <laughs> so there it is. This is kindness. Um, I think um, we need a lot more of that <clears throat> during the times we're living in, aren't we? So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I will be back um, very soon to share with you other things I've been up to. I hope you all are staying well and uh, enjoying the remainder of the summer. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you here soon. Bye.